Asante. Thank you. Shukrani sana Larry. Um, kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni mshukuru Mheshimiwa Samia Sulu Hassan Rais wa Muungano wa Tanzania kwa kutukaribisha. Na mshukuru ndugu yangu Evariste Ndaishimie na pia ndugu yangu uh, Rais uh, Mwinyi na wote ambao mlio fika katika kikao hiki mtanisamehe um, Kiswahili changu si kizuri sana lakini naona nitangangana tu <laughs> kwanza eh, nataka nishukuru mheshimiwa rais kwa kuchukua nafasi na kuungana nasi katika kongamano kubwa la Um, climate change summit ambayo ilikuwa Nairobi na wakati ulikuwa pale ulinipatia maagizo ya kwamba nije katika mkutano huu uh, na nimeambiwa ya kwamba maagizo ni instructions kwa hivyo sikuwa na la ziada ili ila nifike um, Nyinyi majirani zetu mkitaka kutuangamiza mnasema tuongee Kiswahili. <laughs> Na ndio hapo tunapata matatizo. Lakini nimekusikia nimekusikiza nimesikiza taarifa yako mheshimiwa rais. Um, kwa makini sana. Na kufuatilia yale mmetueleza. Na pale pia nikisikiza nikapata msamiati wa Kiswahili katikati pale kwanza nikapata kujua ya kwamba tunaweza kuchochea eh, eh, kuchochea kilimo biashara kule kwetu uchochezi sana sana ni wanasiasa wanafanya uchochezi <laughs> lakini nimeona kumbe uchochezi pia uko na positive ya kwamba unaweza kuchochea kitu kizuri na ikaendelea pale pia nimepata kuelewa kwamba um, kuna mabadiliko ya hewa nilikuwa nafikiri ni mabadiliko ya mazingira So hapo nime, nimepata kuelewa sasa nitaifuatilia vizuri kwa sababu wakati mmoja nilisema mabadiliko ya mazingara sasa jamaa mmoja ukutaka Tanzania akaniambia mazingara sio mazingara ni mambo mengine anakaribiana na uchawi sijui na kuelekea upande hiyo eh, lakini pia nikasikia umetueleza na nakubaliana na wewe mia kwa mia kwa muda mrefu tumekuwa walalamikaji walalamikaji nimesikia hapo lakini niko na malalamiko kidogo wacha niseme kwamba pia nimesikia kwa taarifa yako umerudia azimio azimio Hawa watu walikuwa na azimio sasa nikapata kidogo wasiwasi kwa sababu kule kwetu azimio ni mambo mengine <laughs> azimio ni chama ya upinzani iko na fujo kweli lakini hata hivyo eh, na, nimeelewa tena kwamba azimio kumbe yanaweza kuwa ni mambo mazuri ya makubaliano <laughs> alafu mwisho eh, wacha nimsaidie Kiswahili changu ni bora kuliko ya eh, Lari mtu wa kutoka kijiji yangu huko nyumbani 
amesema hapo ya kwamba mnatuzungumzia na Kiswai, eh, kingereza ambayo sio kizuri na sisi tunaongelesha Kiswahili ambazo sio kizuri vile alikuwa anataka kusema ni kwamba mnatuzungumzia na Kiswahili sanifu na sisi tunawasungumzia happy to participate in this uh, very important uh, forum around the most important uh, subject of our time about food in fact i will tell you that uh, the last campaigns in kenya were centered around food the cost of food the cost of living hmm? is in proper context because it speaks to a very important subject not just globally not just regionally even in Kenya it's a very important subject and um, it is an important subject because without many things you can live without technology you can ha you can fail to have uh, air time and many other things but food is something very emotive and therefore it is important as leaders working with all the other stakeholders to think to plan and to do everything possible to make sure we get it right and this forum therefore brings in context the importance of the subject around food and food systems and um, I want to just say two things because Mama Samia has uh, spoken for almost all of us and my colleagues have also have, uh, have spoken to the issues in the best way possible. Let me just say two things. There are two things that are important from where I sit. Number one is how do we increase productivity? And number two, how do we bring youth into the equation? I think those two issues, you know, encapsulates what I think should inform our thinking going forward. About productivity, let me say three, three things about productivity. How do we increase our productivity? How do we assist our farmers to produce more and to produce much more efficiently. Number one, fertilizer and seed. The provision of fertilizer and seed is very important. It must be accessible, it must be affordable, and it must be available. What we did in Kenya this year is that we registered five million farmers and we distributed fertilizer online so that we eliminate brokers, we eliminate conmen, we eliminate people, middlemen, who normally should change farmers, and farmers end up with fertilizer that is too expensive. And because of what we did, we reduced the cost of fertilizer from about $50 a ton to less than $20 a ton. You will speak with your colleagues in Kenya across and they will tell you that's what we did. And because of that, we increased our fertilizer uptake in just the last season alone. And I have a witness here because uh, Yara, who spoke earlier, Yara International were amongst our four suppliers who supplied the fertilizer to us. That's number one. And let me tell you the results. Last year, we projected to harvest 44 million bags. Because of the intervention around seed and fertilizer, our projection this year is that we will move from 44 million to 61 million bags of maize alone. That is what the correct seed, 
the correct fertilizer and affordable fertilizer and access for fertilizer and seed will do to our farming. Because we just need to be practical about how we want to take this forward.